second graders, Miss Diorio here from Citizenship Academy with your next lesson in module three. We're on to lesson nine. Now, same thing as yesterday, we're going to be working with base 10 units of ones, tens, hundreds, but we're using money. Remember, same idea. We're just using money instead, using dollar bills. So today, our objective is to count our money, count our tens, ones, hundred dollar bills up to a thousand dollars. And we're going to use two different strategies to do so. We're going to use a place value chart, which you guys know very well. We've been using that throughout this whole module. And we're also going to use a number line. Okay. And we're going to show you how to use that. Now, when it comes to the exit ticket, Whatever strategy makes more sense to you, whatever is easier for you, you're welcome to use it. But it's important to know both in case you like one over the other or in case we want to use a different one for different lessons in the future. So let's start off with a warm up, though. Oh, make sure you have paper and pencil today so you can draw your number chart, your place value chart and your number line. So grab those right now if you don't have any go back when you're ready. Okay, as I was saying, we're going to start off with some fluency practice. So today, we're going to start by adding pennies and dimes, okay? A penny is that copper coin. How much is a penny worth? What's its value? How much money is it worth? One cent, good. What about a dime? What's the value of a dime? 10 cents, very good. So we could say a penny is one and a dime is one and 10. A penny is one cent, a dime is 10 cents, a penny is worth one, a dime is one ten. Okay, so we're gonna start by counting pennies. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now, when we have 10 pennies, what can we exchange that for? What can we change that for? Which coin has an equal value to 10 pennies? Good, one dime. So we can change our 10 pennies into one dime. So let's count on. So we're at 10 cents, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We have 10 more pennies. What can we do with those 10 pennies? We can exchange them for a dime. So we have 20 cents, so we can have two dimes now instead. We have two dimes, we're going to count on 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. How much money do we have now? 30 cents. Very good. What can we do with those 10 pennies? We can exchange them for a dime. Awesome. So now we have 10, 20, 30. How much money do we have? 30 cents. Excellent. Okay. Let's count again. We're going to count backwards again, just like we did yesterday, starting at 1,000, going down to zero. I'm going to show you either a ones block, a 10 stick, or a 100 square. And that's what we're going to count by. So a bundle of hundreds means count by hundreds. Bundle of ten means count by tens. Single block means to count by ones. Here we go, starting at a thousand. So what are we going to count by first? Tens. Very good. Starting at a thousand, going backwards. One thousand. Nine hundred ninety. Nine hundred eighty. Nine hundred seventy. Nine hundred sixty. Nine hundred fifty. Nine hundred forty. Now what are we counting by? Hundreds, very good, starting at 940, 940, 840, 740, 640, 540. Ooh. Now what are we counting by? Tens, very good, here we go. 540, 530, 520, 510, 500. Ones, very good. Okay, starting at 500. 499, 498, 497, 496, 495. What are we counting by? Tens, good. Starting at 495. 495, 485, 475, 
425, 435, 445, 435, 435, 415, 405. Counting by ones, good, starting at 405, 404, 403, 402, 401, 400. And 100s, all right, counting backwards from 400, 300, 200, 100. Zero. Good job, guys. We did it again. It's a big number to count from. I'm very proud of you. All right, let's get into our application problem today. If you have someone at home to discuss this with, please do. Make sure you have your paper and your pencil out so we can work through it. Okay, ready? Our problem today says Sarah earns $10 each week for weeding the garden. If she saves all of her money, how many weeks will it take her to save up to $150? I want you to pause the video, talk with someone at home about a strategy you could use to solve this problem, and then I want you to try and solve it. So pause the video, solve for how many weeks it will take Sarah to earn $150. Work with someone at home, talk about it, solve it, come back when you're ready. Ready? Let's go through it. So it says Sarah earns $10 each week for weeding the garden. So that's basically like 110 is how I'm going to think of that. So she needs to save up $150. So if I look at 150, I think that's 15 tens, right? So she's going to have to work for 15 weeks. What do you think? Let's draw a picture to figure it out. So I'm going to count by 10s up to 150. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100, 10, 120, 130, 140, 150. So that's 15 tens. So it's going to take Sarah 15 weeks to earn $150. Now, another way you could have done this was draw your, use your um, place value chart. You could have added and subtracted. You could have done a bunch of different strategies. Whatever works for you as long as you came up with 15 weeks. Awesome job. It's important to understand the relationship between hundreds and tens. And we're going to continue working with that over time. So don't worry if it's not clicking yet. We'll get there. Okay. So today, we are going to practice counting money. And again, we're going to use a place value chart and a number line because it's important to know two different strategies. So we're going to start by having $776, and we're going to put that on our place value chart. So how many hundreds do we have? Seven. Very good. How many tens do we have? Ten. Good. And how many ones? Six ones. Awesome. So we're going to count from 776 up to 900. Now, when we get to one of those benchmark numbers, one of those base 10 numbers, we want to change to either counting by tens or counting by hundreds. Because do we want to count by ones all the way up to 900? That's going to take forever. So when we get to a base 10 number, we want to switch it to counting by tens. When we get to a 100 number, we want to switch it to counting by hundreds. All right, let's try it. So we're at 776. We're going to count up by ones until we get to that benchmark base 10 number. So 777, 778, 779, 780. Now stop. 780 is a benchmark base 10 number. So now what can we count by? Tens. Very good. Start at 780. Here we go. 790, 800. Stop. When we get to 800, what is easy for us to count by now? You got it. 100s. So then we're just going to add on 100. So this model right here is showing you how to do it with base 10 units, base 10 numbers. Another way we can do that is by counting on a number line. When we count on a number line, we want to know what our friendly numbers are, what our benchmark numbers are, what our base 10 numbers are. In this case, it's 780, because that got us to be able to count by tens, and 800, because that got us to be able to count by hundreds. Okay? 
So this is how we're gonna use a number line. I'm gonna show you first and I'm gonna have you practice on your own. So when we use a number line, we're gonna try and get to our friendly numbers, get to our base 10 numbers. So on our number line, we're starting at 776. We wanna to get to 780 because that's gonna be able, that's gonna enable us to count by tens. So we're gonna to jump to 780. Then we're gonna to get to our next friendly number by counting by tens, 780, 790, 800. That gets us to our next friendly number, which is 800. And then we can jump all the way to 900 because that gets us to our, the number we wanna to count to, okay? We wanna to get to those friendly numbers. We wanna to get to those base 10 numbers so that we can count by tens or hundreds to make your counting go faster. Okay, let's practice it on our own. We'll do it step by step. So step one, I want you to model 70 in your place value chart. So draw a place value chart on your paper, model 70 with hundreds, tens, and ones. Pause and come back when you're ready. Ready? Okay. So we have how many tens in 70? Seven tens. So we're going to use a number line now to get from 70 to 300. Now, if we're at 70, the next friendly number we want to get to is what? What's going to be able for, what's going to enable us to count by a hundreds? 100. Very good. So we're going to count by tens or we're going to count by ones to get from 70 to 100. What's going to be easier? Tens, absolutely. So we're starting at 70, we're gonna count by tens to get to our 100. So 70, 80, 90, 100. Now, what can we count by? Good, 100 to get up to 300. So 100, 200, 300, and we're there. Done, awesome. All right, let's try this one. 300 up to 450. Draw it in your place value chart first. Pause, come back when you're ready. Ready? So let's see it in the place value chart. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Now, let's do it on our number line. Draw a number line on your paper. Start at 300. And we want to get to 450. So 300 is going to be your starting point, 450 is your end point. Now, if we're starting at 300, 300 is already a friendly number. So what can we already jump by? Yeah, we can already jump up to 400. Now, how are we going to get from 400 to 450? What should we count by? Should we count by ones, tens, or hundreds? Tens, absolutely. So we're going to go 400, 510, 410. 420, sorry, my dog, 430, 440, 450, and we got there. So when you're using a number line, whether the place value chart makes more sense or the number line, you're trying to get to those friendly numbers. You're trying to get to those base 10 numbers so you can jump by bigger amounts. So you want to jump by hundreds or tens because counting by ones is way too much. Okay, awesome. So our exit ticket today, you are going to be counting money in same way we've been doing with our base 10 numbers so for this one you're going to count the hundred dollar bills for this one you're counting the ten dollar bills for this one you're counting the one dollar bills remember what we talked about in our warm-up certain number of hundred dollar bills equal something else certain number of ten dollar bills we can exchange it for something else certain number of one dollar bills we can exchange it for something else wink wink um, D is a mixture. And then for number two, I want you to try and solve it either with a number line or with a place value chart. Whatever is easier for you, whatever makes more sense for you, and then you're going to type your answer in here. Okay? So solve with a number chart, so solve with a number line, so solve with a place value chart, whatever makes more sense, and then you type your answer in here. Easy peasy today. Good job, and I will see you guys next time.